Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing, first impressions and flip through of Tarot of the Sweet Twilight. So you can see I have not opened the deck yet. Oh, that's cool. So, oh, there's a little thingy here. I can never find where it is. Yep, I don't know where it is. <laughs> How do I open it? Unless, oh, oh, there it is. So I had heard from one of you lovely viewers that this deck might be going out of print soon. Um, so that's kind of cool to maybe finally have an out of print deck. And also I've been trying to get this deck for the longest time too, but every time I would check on Amazon, it'd be, it wouldn't be there, like there wouldn't be any available. Oh, it's another, what you call it? Where is that? Why is it so hard to find them? Here? Yes, found it. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so every time I would try to find this deck, it, it wouldn't be available on Amazon or it would be but it's like available from other sellers and I'd be like oh I don't know if I want to get it from other sellers this is the book it's your typical little white book because you know sometimes when you get it from other sellers it could be like a bootleg a bootleg deck and I didn't want this in bootleg I'm not a fan of bootleg decks I'd rather get the actual deck oh my god is this <gasps> Are these the backs? Holy crap. Holy crap. This is, this is a colorful ass bag. Oh my God. Look at that. That's cool. It's so vibrant. For a second, I thought this was already one of the cards. Okay, let's get to the flip through. This is a top card. We don't need that. And this is from Los Carabo. Yep, Los Carabo. I love me some Los Carabo dicks. I wish I was able to get this one like borderless edition if, if there is one out there, but that's cool. The Fool El Loco. But these colors, man. <laughs> Look at that little poor clown. Oh man, are you gonna step on the clown? Because that clown looks worried. And this cat's like, no, don't do it. What is this? Is this the moon like caught on the tree? Cause the sun's up there. Interesting. Oh, look, I just noticed there's little stars on the border too. Right there. That's cool. And the magician. Oh, look at that cute cat. Looking at that pentacle like, what is this? What is this? The high priestess uh, with two mice. This mouse has a long ass tail and a cat. The empress. Oh, she's in the water and holding planet Earth. Whoa, look at this emperor, two halves. Look at, whoa, I thought that was rope for a second. This is your hair. It looks cool though. Like um, dreadlocks, I believe it is. Look at these colors though. So vibrant. Oh my God, is that your ear? Is, what? It's like they're on another planet. Actually, this whole deck is like they're on another planet. Look, there's fishes in the sky. Whoa, sir, your mustache is everywhere. What is that? Oh, okay. For a second, I thought that was just a torso. No, it's a full body. It's another person. The lovers. 
Why, why is she like all naked and, and you got some pants on? That's not fair. A chariot. Whoa, this is, wait, hold on. The horses are not actually connected to the wheelchair here. At least it doesn't look like it. Justice. You have your scales and the sword. Put the sword's pointed downward. The hermit. The wheel. Wheel of fortune. I think another mouse down there too. A strength bar. Is that Yoda? <laughs> Why is there a Yoda? <laughs> Hanged man. These like figures and the way they're drawn is really interesting. The death card. Again, look at the moon, how it's curved. Temperance. Oh, that's cool. She's pouring rainbows. I love rainbows. The devil. With two different... Oh, look, even the devil is, I guess, split or two different beings. Because you got this part that's well-dressed. You got this part that isn't dressed. Even the horn is different on both sides. And their staff is also different. You got this one. You have the other one over there. That's cool. The tower. She's just chilling with her teddy bear while that tower is burning. He's like, that might be their house. And they're probably like, no biggie. We got out in time. We'll get through this tower moment. As you should think too, guys. the star whoa I just noticed this is this is their body right here because those are their hands that's cool look again the moon right there the moon I'm loving this gradient of colors this is really pretty the Sun this is cool. This reminds, this face reminds me of the movie Coraline. This is an interesting sun card. The judgment card. You got butterflies on their hair. And there's two stones down here. The world. Oh no, the world's crying. I mean, it's crying now, right? Unfortunately. This is a pretty world card, though. Now we're on to the minor arcana. So this is Ace of Chalices, aka Cups. Why are they, are they crying? Oh no, they're not. I thought they were crying. They just have like a slash on their eye. I like the skull. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Look at those squirrels. <laughs> They're all just chilling. Four of Cups. You got the three cups down here, and then they're fishing with the fourth cup. This is the five of cups. It's 
Six of Cups. Oh, it's a huge bear. Huge bear. Seven of Cups. Oh, that's cool. A reflection in the water. Eight of Cups. Cool, look at her hair. It's part of the tree. That's cool. Nine of Cups. Oh, this is really pretty. So this, I'm guessing this person, and I think this is the house, are underwater, right? There's a fish right there. I don't know if this person drowned, but they're reaching out kind of like to be saved. And you have this pretty water swan up top here. And the moonlight in the back. That's, this is a really pretty Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Uh, Nave is the page in here. So this will be the Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Oh, there's two moons in this one. Queen of Cups. I think that's a child in the background. King of Cups. Cool, this king is made of books. Lastra. I don't know what, what Lastra means unless that word isn't complete. Now we're in the Pentacles. This is Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Why did this? This just made me think of Dr. Seuss for some reason. Maybe it's their hat. I don't know. I will say that there's a lot of like Salvador Dali vibes that I'm getting from this, even with like the colors used or like the mixtures of the different colors. Like in here, for example, their hair going from the dark tones to like super bright tones and the in-betweens. I don't know, just uh, Salvador Dali vibes. I wonder if that was like their inspiration for their personal art style right now. That'd be really interesting to know or find out. I mean, even like the, um, <laughs> that was my cat. <laughs> the skin tones used is really interesting. I don't know, she's probably gonna be crying the rest of the video. It's probably her feeding time, actually. Oh my god, it's Catwoman. Stealing all those pentacles. Ten of pentacles. And the bunny up on the stairs. This is totally Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Johnny Depp's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory character. Well, this is an interesting creature. It's like a, it's a duck fish. Cause it's a fish and a duck face. Duck fish. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Cool masks. Why is that? Who is this back here? Oh, look at their ears. They. I was like, what is that? Those are their ears. And those weird tree people. Now we're on the wands. Well, this is a huge apple attached to a little tiny branch. Totally James and the, and the giant peach vibes. Only this is just an apple, not a peach. Look, the wand is down there. 
with a skull. Two of Wands. There's a skeleton back there. Death Valley, Death Valley. Zoe! That's one of my cats' names, Zoe. Let me go see what she wants. Give me one second, guys. Where were we? I almost dropped my camera. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Some of them, this one and this one look like they don't even want to like fight or argue. Whoa, look at their legs. Whoa. Six of Wands. Oh no, they're crying. Seven of Wands. With their huge, beautiful cat back there. Eight of Wands. This person looks really content. What is wrong with their fingers though? Oh my God. What is that? Are they just like becoming one with the tree or are they the tree? I think they're the tree. Nine of Wands. Interesting that they have a sword in here too. Ten of Wands. Are these strings? I think these are strings coming out of them. Maybe. Why do I look like the Disneyland castle? Page of Wands. The Knight of Wands. And you have like what appears to be a puppet person here. And the red strings again. There's a mask there. Queen of Wands. Ooh, I like these bell bottoms. Is that a little mouse? Yes. King of Wands. Now we're on the swords. Oh, that's a cool sword handle. These are swans. Two of swords. What is this? Like a weird candle holder or something. Three of swords. Oh my God, they're stabbing themselves. Cross my heart and hope to die, and yet they stab themselves. That's not nice, and they're crying. Interesting and pretty deep Three of Swords image. Four of Swords. Oh, they're totally taking a nap. That cat's like, what you doing? I think that's a cat. Has like a... The tail looks like a rat tail. Five of swords. Did I say four of swords before or did I say four of wands? I don't remember. I got confused. Whoa, they got three heads. Why do they look nervous? What is this? Their hair is getting, I don't know what's going on there. Six of Swords. Oh no. They trapped an angel and they're taking them somewhere? That's kind of scary. This person looks like they don't even want to do it. Seven of Swords. Eight 
eight of swords. Again, they're trapped here. They got shackles. Nine of swords. There's a string, I think, from their hand to the moon. They're crying. Ten of swords. This appears to be a cemetery. I think these are tombstones. And like maybe they're bringing flowers and the tenth sword to them, maybe. Page of swords. Squirrel! I'm just staring at him like what what? Knight of Swords, oh, unicorn. Queen of Swords. Oh, she's crying again. I thought this was gonna be like Queen of Wands. There's a sword there and they appear to be on a stake burning. Uh, oh, I think this would have fit more for Queen of Wands energy, but. And then King of Swords, which is a Scarecrow. And there's another one. Very interesting colors in this deck and figures and symbolism. And like I said, it just gives me Salvador Dali vibes. And I don't know. Also, some of the characters are clearly from, um, I think one of them was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I forgot what the other one was, but just like right off the bat, just made me think of that character. Um, so with it being a, a low Scarebo deck, it is comfortable in the hand. It is comfortable for overhand shuffle too. The cardstock is okay. It's not the worst. It's not the best. It is better than the Llewellyn decks though. And these card backings are super bright. Oh look, I noticed there's a little skull there. Right here. It's a very vibrant and colorful deck. Now, as far as is this like beginner, intermediate, uh, expert level, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, uh, not sure if I should call this a beginner deck. I feel like some of the images might confuse uh, a beginner. So I would say this is more intermediate to expert level deck. Um, and again, it's not to say if you were to get this deck as your first tarot deck to learn tarot, I'm sure you can learn it no problem. It's just gonna be a little bit difficult for you, but you do have your guidebook here, uh, which I believe do also have reversed meanings. Most of them do actually. What, what is this? Oh, okay. So you have wands, ace, and then the two wands, three wands. So I don't see reversed meanings in the book. So if you are trying to learn reverse paintings, then I would say maybe just go online or just talk to your fellow tarot readers too. But yeah, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions on this deck or for me, you can always leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.